Hi everyone, Art Journal page, and I'm working in this journal that is made from watercolor uh, paper. And I'm starting with these colors. I've got acrylic paint. This is, I've got buttercream. Uh, this is deco art. I've got cranberry from apple barrel, turquoise from deco art, and island blue. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the same. Just having fun with colors. It's so great outside that I decided that I needed something bright. And I'm just putting it here and taking a baby wipe. I'm starting with the yellow as you can see. And just putting it randomly in several places like so. So I've got my yellow and the only thing is that I really like to have the brighter color in the center. That's the only thing uh, that is on purpose. Other, other stuff is just uh, random on the page. So now for this and I want them also to overlap a little bit and mix if they can i'm only working on this page i've put a masking tape here and i'm already can see that i will need to go and use the yellow again it doesn't mix so well because i don't have any primer on my um, page if i put gesso first then the colors would have blended more and not soaked into the page immediately so this that's something to consider if you want a uh, more blending okay so let's see going for this color and just changing the place on the baby wipe. Something is <laughs> making a noise while I'm doing this, don't know why, so sorry. I think I will use the yellow again on top not sure yet and okay I'm adding a little bit from this a uh, color it really doesn't matter just have fun with it Okay, so now I just want a little bit yellow to top on the areas with the blue just so it would be a little bit more greenish <laughs> but otherwise it really doesn't matter okay so I get some kind of rainbow effect here and I really like it. Now it needs to uh, dry completely before I'm doing anything else. I'm thinking some uh, stenciling or stamping to add details to my background. I'll pick something up and be back. Okay, I'm back and I want to add details to my background. I've picked this stamp and I've got this uh, turquoise Versacolor uh, ink pad and I'm going with the colors I have on the page so it will stay in the background and not uh, steal away from whatever comes next and I'm trying to uh, again put it randomly but 
not uh, if it's turquoise I don't want it completely here on the turquoise it will have to be also on this side so it will be more visible so it's <laughs> partly random and partly planned <laughs> Okay, just a little bit here, and I like it. Now I want to add some stenciling, and I've picked this uh, stencil. I've got Distress Inks here. I've got Broken China, Fossilized Amber, and uh, Picked Raspberry. And, well, I'm just going to play again with basically the same colors. And let's see, uh, let's start with this, I opened it and now I'm just, I'm not sure if I want the pink on the pink, so it will just be like a shadow on my background or if I want it to be very visible like on the yellow, I don't know, let's start, I don't know. Whatever will be, will be. And I'm just stenciling away. Where it goes, it goes. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so very bright. I like using uh, this kind of makeup sponges with ink pads because they are round, they don't leave uh, straight uh, edges when you're doing this kind of thing. Maybe a little bit here. And they are also easy to clean. Just water and a little bit of a uh, dish soap okay so this is nice and let's pick this one the yellow and I need to clean this otherwise it will just be some orange let's see This is a notebook for all kinds of leftover paint, so I'm just going to put it here. I don't know if it will transfer, but if so, then I will have some nice color in the back. So nothing but a little bit of pink here. Always using everything. So just let it dry a little bit. And moving on, let's see. Mm. I hope I'm not overwhelming the page with, <laughs> with all these <laughs> flowers. Never mind, as I said, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, not a lot visible on the background, but it's just adding more interest in the back. So I'm just continuing doing this. I think after this one, I'm leaving it be. I'm not adding the broken china. I think it's enough for the background don't need anything more yeah I like it maybe just picking a little bit here some more of the yellow and a little bit here And 
and that's it that's my background leaving it be moving this aside so I've been playing with uh, making some a uh, face very general very graphic and I've transferred it I'm always doing a uh, planning on a tracing paper you can uh, fold it and do symmetrical things you can uh, take another page and if something is not working for you then you can correct whatever is not working for you so this is a nice start and this will be i will keep it i have a binder with all my uh, templates so this is what i've done of course i could uh, just have picked some stencil with a face like this one but i wanted to do something myself and i have two versions this is more scribbly and this is more a if one line more refined i think i'm going with this one and i want to add a little bit of color to the face it doesn't have to be a complete color i just want a shade of it so i'm taking some watercolor whoops and let's see where is my a little bit of water and let's do it here just so it won't be completely white i don't know if you can see it it's really a uh, it's very very light this uh, skin color i just wanted to break a uh, this complete white i'll just keep on adding a little bit really large bottle of a uh, spray couldn't find something smaller and it's really a uh, it's hard to handle let's put a little bit of color here for the lips if i'm at it not concerned about being precise just putting it as is and that's it for it and i know it looks strange but i'm planning on stenciling on top so i wasn't i didn't uh, care about <laughs> this shape up uh, up here so i'm thinking of gluing the face here i'll just put some glue in the back of course you can uh, just cut uh, any face from any magazine and use it you can also cut a trace take a tracing uh, paper and put it on top of an of a face from a magazine and then trace the lines a lot of ways to go about it okay so i've got the face and I want to stencil now. I haven't prepared it. Let's put something here. And I want to stencil with white. So it will go with the face that are mostly white. I'm taking gesso because it has better coverage than white acrylic paint. But white acrylic paint can work also. Just more layers so i've got this and let's put it here so it won't move and just taking some makeup sponge and i wanted to use uh, this stencil but now that i'm thinking about it I want something else so i'm going to look through my stencils i want some leaves but this uh, won't work for me 
I want something bigger that will go something like that and on top we'll see so I'm going to look for my stencils and be back I'm back so <laughs> no matter how many <laughs> stencil I have with uh, all kinds of leaves I haven't found something that really worked I'm back to the same uh, stencil I had before and I'm going to just stencil I'm uh, starting with the gesso and then I thought that maybe just to add a little bit of color so I'm putting here a little bit of really dark green and so I'm starting with the stenciling now of course this is white and here I also got white but uh, this is just the first layer so I'm starting with the white and afterwards I'm going to add a little bit of color and of course I'm also going to do some contour lines so everything will uh, just I don't know blend together <laughs> and so the white will show on white and it won't uh, stick out so I've got one layer of the white gesso and if I feel it needs more I'm just going over again. Now I'm picking just a little bit of the uh, green and I'm not going over air all the shape of the leaves just adding in several places so it won't be completely a uh, solid color I'm just giving a hint of the green like so so now it really looks like a mess and it doesn't connect but once it's um, dry I want to draw a stem and contour lines and make everything come together so I'm going to continue stenciling uh, all kinds of uh, leaves and then I'll be back okay so I kept stenciling more leaves and then I'm just taking this black permanent marker this is for CDs and it just works great from the cheap store of course and I'm kept with the same uh, loose line so it will go uh, with the face and I'm just doing it very loosely like so going around the leaves and again loosely connecting it to the stem it really doesn't matter just a way to give it a little bit more definition of course if you don't like it uh, this kind of a uh, scribbly line you can do a precise line and give it a more precise contour whatever uh, you like it doesn't have to be like this so I'm just going around the rest of the leaves just so you will see what I've done and how <clears throat> loosely I'm going about it I think some of the paint is still a little bit moist so it's giving me trouble but never mind good enough so I've got this now I decided that I want something black here some writing or letters or whatever and I picked this stencil and you don't see what is written it's just a hint of some a grace caress <laughs> okay so I got stuck a caressive writing whatever <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, stencil here in black until I reach uh, the face I don't want it to go over the face and I'm taking a black acrylic paint and just stenciling Again, it doesn't need to be precise or anything. It doesn't matter what is written he written here. I just it just part of I don't know how 
to explain it part of having more details in the background uh, and an embellishment to the page now it doesn't have to be a stencil I could also have taken a stamp with some script but this one just the size was a uh, why I picked this one not too large not too small and just right at first I thought to use a one of my stencils with all kinds of words but then I didn't want words that uh, can be uh, read I just wanted a uh, something to be more in I don't know sometimes I don't have the words to explain what I wanted to do <laughs> it's more a decorative element than anything else that's it <laughs> that's all I'm saying <laughs> yeah okay so now I still uh, see the white, uh, the strange white I have, <laughs> I have here. So I'm taking the same uh, paints I've used and I'm just going to try and blend a little bit. Don't know if it will work, but I'm trying. I'm also taking a little bit of water. So... I'm hoping to go and just blend it into the white like so so it won't be too harsh so I'm just going here I'll do more uh, I'll go over the lines uh, around the leaves if I need to but right now I'm more uh, wanting to just blend into the white here so it won't be so harsh. That's better. Okay, so picking a little bit of the <laughs> yellow and a little bit of the blue. So it will match with the background and now I'm picking a lot of water so I can just go and blend it with the white so it will disappear into the white without harsh lines that's the best I can do so it will go and I won't have this <laughs> egghead I don't know what to call this <laughs> okay that's better okay now I think I need to just go over some of the lines maybe I will use the other tip just for more emphasis in several places Okay, it's, it's starting to take shape. I like what's going on here. Forgot this one. I have a little bit trouble with the tip, probably the gesso.
so you can see I'm just going over very free and loosely just so there will be more definition in several places mostly underneath each leaf and the stem okay I like it and now I feel like I need something here okay what am I going to get well when in doubt, use butterflies. That's what I'm saying. So, butterflies it is. I have something that maybe will work here. I don't know. Nope. Too much. I, uh, I'm going to think about it and I'm going to come back. Okay, so no butterflies. I decided that I'm just going to use some washi tape I just got and go around the page. We'll see where it gets me. Again, not everything is planned. So <laughs> just putting this one here. So just a little bit more. It says, let your dreams be your wings. And I've got this washi tape. I don't know what is written on it. Let's see. Mm. Dare to dream big forever. Okay. Managed to read this. <laughs> Let's see maybe here just something that I don't know will frame the page let's see what else maybe I don't know let's take something without words and just putting it here and what else I'm just playing whatever will be will be it's just more uh, interest and details to my page and some kind of frame to the page. This is a little bit crooked. So this narrow one with dots And let's put some here. No, first this one. Crooked again. <laughs> that's better just one little more piece here so it will go with the rest and I think I'm calling it done 
although I'm a little bit concerned about this area it looks blank but I think I'll just leave it be or maybe just a little bit more washi tape like this that's it that's my page I'm leaving it be <laughs> leave it alone <laughs> So, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.